robots, people. They are coming. I'm excited about this story. Uh, there is going to be the first advanced humanoid robot. It's about nine months off. It is going to feel like a human being. It's going to be a service robot. It's going to be accessible to the public, not just to the super rich. So robots are coming. This is, this is the science fiction dream that everyone has had for a long time. So I guess where to start with this, how long will it take for them to become our overlords? Jackie? Yeah, I think I, I'm wondering how long it's going to take till there's porn with the robots and, and Are you people. Kidding? That's got, that's I already good. have but that doll that actually moves and speaks when she's being They do? Entered. Yes. Marcellus has been waiting for the uh, male yes. version. Yeah, man. <laughs> Do they have the male version? Never. No, never. <laughs> when we started the show talking about how we can't stop taking pictures of our food for five minutes, they are our overlords already. Oh, yes. The robots rule us. This, so yeah. just, this yeah. rules me. It's the yeah. last thing I touch before I go to bed. It's the first thing I touch when I roll up in the morning. Mm -hmm. This and my cell phone. We are all slaves to something with circuitry and da, da 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 I find this really creepy. And what I find even creepier is that don't these people watch movies? Didn't you mm -hmm. see iRobot with Will Smith? Yeah. Didn't you see, that didn't end well. Didn't you see artificial intelligence with that creepy little guy from The Sixth Sense? Mm -hmm. That really didn't end well, because at the end, the only people are left are him, the little creepy teddy bear, and the aliens that come down, and they're like, oh, the Earth is now cold and barren, and there are no humans left. Mm -hmm. A lot of this people didn't like that movie, end well. and it was a bad ending. I am with you. It was an awful ending. This yeah. can't end well. This will not end well. This will end with like some old lady being choked by a robot. Mm -hmm. This will end with like some guy like finding himself, like finding a way to like impale a robot and being electrocuted to death. This won't end well. Okay, now I agree with you. I agree with you. The robot thing cannot, you're really getting a kick I out of this. I love it. It's the most whimsical bad ending of it, all time. I, like it is going to end badly, but that's kind of a fun one. It's going to be like one. the Cabbage Patch Kids, or it's going to be like that really bad Bruce Willis Wait, movie. Wait, it's going to be like the Cabbage <laughs> Patch Kids? What is <laughs> that? Cabbage what? Patch what? Patch what? Patch Do you remember when the pa Cabbage Patch things were a thing? Yeah. Yes. And Are people were rolling them? around like Cabbage Patch dogs in sure. their things and they were actually yeah. naming them and they were talking to them. People are going to stop talking to the, each other and they're going to have the idyllic child who happens to be a robot who actually has blue eyes and blonde hair because I'd probably have a little yeah. robot kid that had blue yeah. eyes and blonde hair because I mean little black girls and having to comb their hair and stuff. So anyway, you're rolling around with this doll and you're not interacting with anybody. You've got your perfect robot baby and if you're me, you've got your perfect robot husband who has like a six pack abs and is like six foot two and is perfect and he does what whatever you want to do and there's no back talk and there's no where's the credit card I want to go shopping. This will not end well, people. This is the beginning of the ap apocalypse and it's a robot apocalypse. If you it's like react. Darth Vader. I really, when I selected this story, I really had no idea that it was going to bring <laughs> out no this level of intensity. But also, in the you. robots, they say they're making them for when, you know, you're growing old, when you're, you know, so you're by yourself. You're already in a nursing home. What Nobody's person coming is to gonna be able the to only, afford a robot? The only person that's gonna be taking care of you is a robot. Like it's not even a person. They all have no. So you're saying? That, are you saying that's bad? It's no, I mean, terrible. what if you have Wouldn't a good? What if you have, but now is this just because we all think for some reason that these things, because of science fiction movies, we all think automatically this is just going to be all hell is going to break loose when in reality maybe a nice but helper some, robot but no, some that's nice human contact like if you're all by yourself and am I now supposed to buy my mama a robot instead of like the purse she wants for Christmas now I'm supposed to buy her a robot also and that makes me a bad son if I don't do that who's going to buy an old person a robot it's going to be rich people buying robots so that they don't have to do anything they're going to be slaves it's going to be a bunch of freaky people who can't get a woman <laughs> to do what they want mm -hmm. buying robots mm -hmm. it's going to be a bunch of people who, who are barren buying little robot kids and talking to them like they're actual real people. This will not end. It's going to be, you know what it's going to be like. I'm going to make a robot of myself so that I don't have to leave the house and it's going to be like that bad Bruce Willis movie. See, now what was it? Which Surrogates. One? Which one? Oh, Surrogates. Wow. Where they're like, you know, you're fat and you're morbid and you're housebound because all you do all day is eat and you've got this thing on your head that makes your robot go to work for you and your robot is an idealized version of you. So my robot now looks like Tyson Beck for it and is like, you know, buff. And I get to sit at home and do nothing but eat Oreos and frozen Reese's Cups. <laughs> Frozen wow. Reese's Cups. Now I'm changing There was mind. a lot. There really was a lot. Oh, Reese's Cups. Cups. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't. I I think we, I'm pretty sure we just ended the show. Dave, do you have anything else I, you'd I, like I to? I couldn't possibly top it. That, 
I want to take a picture of a frozen Reese's cup and tweet it. <laughs> All right. Marcellus, hold yourself for one second. I want to remind you guys that uh, my wardrobe uh, is brought to you by bonobos.com, and you can enter code RubenReport to get 20% off your next order. They got shirts, they got pants, they got shoes, they got underwear, they got socks, all stuff for humans and, and for robots alike. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I want to thank Marcellus Reynolds, Jackie Monahan, Dave Holmes, and uh, I'm going to let you guys pimp yourselves out because I always feel that the guests on these shows can give a more intimate pimping than uh, the host. Marcellus, where can people find you? You can go to MarcellusReynolds.com. Well, tomorrow morning, I will be selling Robot Apocalypse t-shirts. <laughs> the man moves quick. Jackie. Uh, you can go to Twitter, Jackie Monahan at Twitter, and Facebook, of course, and uh, JackieMonahan.com. And uh, you can go on iTunes and order my movie, Codependent Lesbian Space Alien Seek Same. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dave. Uh, I, you can find me on Twitter, at Dave Holmes. I am verified. I don't want to brag. Uh, and I will Humble also be uh, appearing at Upright Citizens Brigade LA this Thursday, the 21st at 9.30. Excellent. Here in Los Angeles. Cool. Well, I thank you guys for joining me on the first episode of The Rubin Report. Watch out for those uh, rich, gun-toting robots, everybody. We will see you next week. Thank you.